much and welcome to another Fast Forward. Yes. Hi. And, and on this week... Before we go any further, I would just like to say that I'm really, really looking forward to this week's show. Yes, we all are, Andy. Mm. Anyway, yes, because what we're doing this week... I've been working on my eventual quiz act. No, Andy. Yes, remember? Little Neddy. No, Andy. Must do. Little Neddy, my little friend. Yes, Andy. Yes, well, I think I know where I went wrong now. I think we all know where you went wrong, yes, Andy. So, I'm going to do my little Neddy act again, but this time with a new twist. Andy! Yes? <laughs> Please. Oh, Joe, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I just go off and uh, get ready. No, 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 no. Oh. I don't think he quite got the message, Joe. Well, I expect we're going to regret this, but please welcome back Andy and his friend, Little Neddy, with a new twist. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? My name is Andy, Little Andy. What's yours? My name is Little Neddy. Shall we sing a song together? Yes, let's sing Me and My Shadow. Okay, music, maestro, please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, ah, uh, yes, I knew there was something I'd forgotten. Um, well, uh, I suppose I'll just have to try it another time. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I told him it would never work. <laughs> I don't know. It all looks so wonderful. Ah, uh, chocolate cake. It looks lovely. Ah, uh, sorry, the trifle. That looks delicious. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, can I have the mousse instead? It looks really beautiful. Hey, thanks, honey. You ain't too bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do then? Me? I'm a comedian, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's absolutely amazing. Oh, hey, will you do a bit for me now? No, you know, I'm just having my lunch. Oh, no, go on. You, I mean, roll your eyes about or, or stick your tongue out and waddle it about a bit. I mean, no, no, hey, no, look, I've got it. OK, change colour. Yeah, OK, change to purple. What are you talking about? I'm a comedian. Comedians don't change colour. A comedian? Oh, hey, I thought you said you're a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, Jackson, what seems to be the problem? I want the transfer, sir. Oh, yes? Where to? Oh, another ship, sir. <laughs> Don't you like being on this ship, Jackson? Oh, yes, I do, sir. Yes, very much indeed, yes. I see you haven't been with us very long. In fact, exactly two weeks. That's right, sir. Yes, two weeks. <laughs> you seem to have had quite a few changes, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you've been on the Invincible, the Illustrious, the Indomitable, the Impregnable, and now you want another transfer. That's right, sir. And which ship do you fancy this time? HMS Kent, sir. Look here, Jackson, I hope you've got a dash good reason. It's a letter's home, sir. A letter's home, how do you mean? I can't spell the blooming names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Arkwright, I've finished that little plumbing job you wanted. And if I may say so myself, a right proper job, done and all. You have got the finest plumbed in, sit down, low level toilet, in a street. Oh. Look. There you go, proper job. It's in the living room. Yep. <laughs> Nobody has a toilet in the living room. I do. Most other people don't. Don't they? No. Still, it's a fine bit of plumbing. <laughs> well, it may be, but where it is, it may not be. Oh, go on, you'll like it. I won't. It'll impress your friends. It will not impress my friends. They've all got their toilets in the proper place. Oh, where would that be then? In the bathroom. Well, there you go. They'll think you're trendy. They won't think I'm trendy, they'll think I'm bonkers. Go on then, say it. I know what you're thinking. You don't like the toilet in here, do you? Don't like it? I hate it. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I do not want the toilet in here. Shame about that, really. Why? Well, you're not going to like where I put the bathtub. Ah. Sure. <laughs> the phone, television. Get out! And had a bit of trouble with the bidet, mind you. Um, get out! <laughs> now! I'm going, Mrs. Doctor. So now! All right, get... And now 
it's time to meet our special guest for this week. We are indeed very fortunate to have with us on the show... Ah, uh, I think I can hear him arriving now. As I'm saying, we're very fortunate to have with us tonight a one-man band! <laughs> Hello. Hi! <laughs> you, uh, are expecting us? Ah, uh, yes, it's just that I wasn't expecting quite so many of you. You know, being a one-man band. <laughs> yes. Well, I expected one man. That's right. That's me. I'm the one man. <laughs> yes, but, um, the other two? We're what? not men. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just thought that, um... Why are there three of you? Well, there's a lot of instruments. Yes, but surely that's what, that's what being a one-man band is all about. Oh, you're absolutely right there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we did try cutting down on the number of instruments, but it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. For a start, people used to say, call yourself a band with one stupid kazoo. Yeah, and it wasn't very hygienic. Yeah. <laughs> or sucking and blowing on the same mouthpiece. Yeah. So, so we said, this is no good. We need more instruments. It's what the public expects, you see. <laughs> Multi-instrumentalist, they call it. Ah, yes, but that means one person playing the bass drum, the guitar, and the um, kazoo. Bless you. you. One person. All the instruments? No, 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 one person per instrument. One instrument per person. Each person instrumental with a personal instrument. <laughs> no, 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 now you've lost me. But it's very easy. Mm. You see, I'm the drummer. I'm the strummer. And I'm the hummer. <laughs> we have an equal role to play. That's right, especially me. Go on, ask me. What role do I have to play? Go on, ask <laughs> no, me. No, go on, ask me. Yeah. What role do you have to play? Go on, ask no, All right, no, no. what role do you have to play? <laughs> Drum roll! <laughs> They love it, they love it, they give it up money in the air, they love it. Yeah, That's terrible, they love it, they love it, they love it. I mean, you know, a one-man band, yes. one man plays all the instruments, single, solo, on his Todd. His what? That's the novelty. Well, what, what do the other two do? Well, there are no other two. Yeah. What, do you mean they're out of a job? No, there never were any other two. I mean, there never was any job. This is supposed to be a one-man band. Didn't they um, walk around with a hat? Or hold the music? Or something? Tell the world yes, I suppose so. Oh. If they want to, if they have to, if they must. But I mean, they're not supposed to be here in the first place. It's supposed to be one man. What, with no instruments? Yes, one man and his instruments. Playing them all? Yes. By himself? Yes. Single? Solo? On his toad? Yes. <laughs> no, no way, it can't be done. It's yes, it can. For a start, he doesn't wear his drum like you do. He's got it strapped to his back. <laughs> but how does he play it better? He must be double jointed. Steel bar comes down from the side of the drum to his heel. Yeah, go on. Then he beats it. Ah, before the police come and tell him to move on. <laughs> They're terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The steel bar yeah. is attached to his heel, and the other end is attached to a sprung arm with a drumstick on it. Yeah. Then. He's got another steel bar with a mouth organ, a kazoo, a whistle, all sorts of duck blowers and whirly things on, in front of his mouth, which is attached to his shoulders. His mouth attached to his shoulders? The steel <laughs> bar! <laughs> then he's got a snare drum on top of the bass drum, which is worked by levers from his elbows. He's got cymbals between his knees, bells all over, and the guitar strapped across his chest. Now, that's what I call a one-man band. Well, that's what I call a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Snare drum, bass drum, steel bar here, a steel bar there. Here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar. <laughs> How does he do it? Why does he do it? Because he's a one-man band! <laughs> Look, I'm very sorry about this. There seems to be some dreadful mix-up. So you're uh, not interested in us, then? No. The best thing we can Excuse do me. is... Excuse me, would you be interested in a brass ensemble? Nope. Get How on. about a string quartet? No. Orchestra? No! All right, all right, suit yourself. We're wasting our time here, obviously. Come on, you two. We're due at the Albert Hall in half an hour. We can practice on the way. After three, a one, two, three, and... <laughs> um, and now... Hello? Is Dr. Redbelly there, please? Oh... Hello, Doctor. Sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you would settle an argument for me, please. Now, could a 12-year-old boy take out his own appendix? <laughs> that's right. No. Well, that's what I said. Mm, yes, yeah, stupid. Ridiculous. You're right, Doctor. Never heard such twaddle. Yes, well, thank you very much, Doctor. Bye-bye. There, you little know-all. Now you go and put it straight back in again. <laughs> Now I'm for 
your second chance to see ITV's award-winning drama serial, Munro's Mock. In this week's Here's edition, Saffron. Munro yes, Tasmin. I've seen this one before. Mm. So have I. Should we watch the other side? Yeah, all right then. Travelling through France. I was just a little boy. I asked to my mama, what can I do? Yes, could I have a pizza, please? Will it be, will it be? Have a future of my power to see. Que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will it be. Watch me out of 